What's up YouTube, it's ASX Options here and it's Jonathan speaking. Today we're going to be talking about option settlement and exercise style and this really comes down to a topic of settlement, exercise or assignment. So let's get into what those are. So first up to summarize what we've talked about in the beginner series so far is the options contract. So we have an underlying contract, we have a strike price, an expiration date and a type. Okay. So let's give an example, Santos as our underline, a strike price of $5, an expiration date December 20, and the type is a call. And on the other side, we can have Woodside, a strike price of $30, expiration date of September 20, and a put. So let's talk about option settlement. What are some of the most basic option settlements that we can have for both a call and a put? So the first example here, we have a call. So in this scenario, as you can see, with a strike price at 30 and then the stock price has gone above that $30, the buyer would like to exercise the call. So we choose to buy at the strike price and then the seller would be assigned a call. So assigning means that you're required to sell at that strike price. So the buyer exercises and the seller is assigned. That's really important to remember. So another scenario now is that the buyer does not choose to exercise. Okay, because now we have a call option with a strike at 30 and the price has gone below. So why buy for $30 when you can go into the market and buy for less than that? So the seller is not assigned and keeps the premium. So a put option, here you can see that our strike's at $30 and we're hoping that the stock price goes down if we're the buyer. So the exercise put, you choose to sell at the strike and the seller of the put is assigned and then therefore they are required to buy at that price at $30. So remember, again, here, the buyer exercises, even though it's a put, the buyer exercises the put, and then the seller of the put option is assigned. And the last scenario that can we have is that the put, the buyer does not choose to exercise because now we have a strike price of $30 still, but then the price has gone above. So why would I sell at $30 when I can go into the market and sell at 60? and the seller is not assigned and keeps the option premium. So to summarize, when you have a call, there are two options. One is that the buyer exercises the call. The other, and in that scenario, then the seller is assigned a call and required to sell at a given strike. Or the buyer does not choose to exercise and the seller is not assigned. Similarly with a put, if the buyer chooses to exercise the put, then they choose to sell at that given strike and then therefore the seller is assigned a put and they're required to buy at that strike. So also there's another scenario that the buyer does not choose to exercise and the seller is not assigned. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. So with exchange traded options, depending on what the contract is, one of three things can happen in settlement. So you can settle into the physical underline and here you would be taking on either a long or short position in that underline. So picture a stock or whatever. Two, futures position. So you could take on settlement um, into a long or short position in the corresponding futures. Or three, you can have cash settlement and this is primarily the case with indices. So for example, the ASX 200. So let's move on to the second part of this tutorial and that is exercise style. So you would have heard of them before. We have a European contract and an American contract. And no, this is not options contracts trading in Europe versus America. Um, these contracts, types of contracts are both traded in everywhere in the world. So a European contract can only be exercised at the expiration date, while an American contract can be exercised any time between now and the expiration date. So that's quite a big difference and you'll see what I mean in these graphs. 
So let's assume that we've bought a December 20 call option with a strike at $30. So you can see here that the stock price moves um, around that $30 mark and then finishes out of the money. And um, so essentially under the European scenario, at the end of our December 20 um, results, the stock price has ended up lower than our strike. So we wouldn't want to buy for $30 when we can go into the market and buy for 25. However, if this was the American option, we could have chosen to exercise the call at this point here, okay, when the stock price had shot up and we would have been able to make a profit of $40 minus 30, so $10. So with the American option, you get the flexibility and you can choose when you want to exercise the call. Of course, you don't know this part of the curve, so you don't know if it's gonna end up further in the money or go down out of the money. So in summary, if the buyer exercises an options contract, then the seller is assigned the option contract. And a European contract means that it has to be exercised at expiry, whereas an American contract can be exercised anytime. So thank you very much for listening to ASX Options, guys. Um, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, and if you want more content, please subscribe. Thank you very much.